If you have the equation, find the remaining zeros of a third degree polynomial with real coefficients that has zeros 3 and i, construct a polynomial with these zeros and write in the a sub n x of n form. They give you the 3 and the i and it's asking you to find the third zero. I know by looking at it that negative i is my third missing zero because where you have an i, you'll have a negative i or vice versa. You start out by writing the zeros in a factored form like this. Basically, just take the opposite of what's here and you're going to multiply all this out to give you your polynomial. I would start out by using these two. It's going to be a little easier because these are conjugates of each other. x minus 1 times x plus 1 gives you x squared. Your middle term cancels out because you have a negative and a positive. And a negative i times an i gives you a positive 1. Now that you have that, you need to multiply it by your x minus 3. And I'm just showing here that the FOIL method, and that's exactly what I did here. And x times x squared gives you x third. x times positive 1. And a negative 3 times a negative x. And a negative 3 times positive 1 gives you negative 3. And that's basically all there is to it. So this is your polynomial, and it's in the form that they would like. So you start out with the zeros. You found you know it's negative 1. Write them out in factored form. And basically just use a FOIL method to get your polynomial. And that's all there is.